Come on down to Foxy Roxy's. I'll do your deal with a lot of mercy. Bright lights, no clocks, and it is always happy hour. Hey, hey, for the 20th time, you can't drink! Jessica's body, and you don't get to hurt it. She has hepatitis C, and drinking could seriously hurt her. It would take a lot more than that to get rid of Jessica. Yeah, well, you're not going to find out, are you? You need to stay healthy for that baby. Hi! <gasps> okay. Tell me everything. How was your big night with Ford? Perfect. Vintage Ford. What do you mean? He blew me off for some other girl. You're right. We gotta take care of that baby because the cash that I stole from Roxy's is nothing compared to what that little stinker is gonna net us. I've been buggered. First he called to say he was running late. Then when I went outside to call him back, I saw him. S so he was there at Capricorn? Yep. He was leaving with some skank. Then he calls me hours later to say something came up. That doesn't make sense. He wouldn't go with another girl on your night. Why would he do that? Maybe he was seeing this chick the whole time. Wait, Lang, there's another reason. No, I've been through all the possibilities. Secret tramp wins. No, y you didn't read the newspaper? Ford doesn't have a girlfriend. He has a baby. There's got to be a lawyer in Vegas that can shake some of this patch loose for us. Would you stop talking about Ryder like he's a baby ATM? There is a casino downstairs with my name on it. I could double our money. It's not our money. It's the baby. And what does he need it for, huh? Gold-plated diapers? Wait, do, don't you care about your kid at all? He is not my kid. God, you are so dense, it's pathetic. He is yours and Jessica's messy little accident. No, 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 wait a second, I thought you said I slept with Tess. I was there for the 30 seconds it took you to make your little deposit, okay? The rest of the groaning and slobbering was all you and Jessica. He is not my kid. You are not my type. Do you really think this lumpy, waxed body is something that would turn me on? Put a shirt on before I lose my breakfast. Fine. What are you doing? I'm calling your family. They need to know what's going on. You are to rub your jugular bliss, but Johnny wasn't answering the door. And man, I'm telling you, this is big. What is? I've been buggered. I mean, I've been burgled. Somebody came into the store and just wiped me out. Can you go to the police station and file a report, please? I have to find Jessica. How could you lose your pride? It's only been one day already, man. Roxy, we're not married. What? There was no wedding. It's all in the papers. Now, please, I have to go. Well, what about John and Natty? They didn't get married either. Oh, man, am I that far out of the loop? What the hell happened? It all came out at the wedding. James told me. I can't believe Ford didn't tell me. He's a father with Jessica. <sighs> Must have freaked him out. So he went with some other girl, someone the complete opposite of me? Why? I don't know. No, I do. She was blonde, hotter than hot, and all over him. Wait, tell me more about this blonde. 
You can't call Jessica's family. How many times do I have to tell you? They need to know that you're here. Why? So they can bring their precious Jessica back? No, thank you. Wait, I am not letting you take over Jessica's life. Well, that's really obvious because you were all over the hotel computer last night typing in DID when you thought I was asleep. Next time, smart guy, erase the browser history. I, I want to go back to Landview. I should have never let you talk me into coming to Vegas. Your parents have got to be worried sick about you. Right. My parents. Okay, fine. Go ahead. Tell Clinton Vicky. But you know what's going to happen then, right? Whatever's best for you. Yeah, I know. They'll, um, they'll lock me up. And then what's going to happen to poor baby Ryder then? I'm his father. I have rights. You sure? Because, uh, I don't think that Brody Lovett really cares about your rights. I don't care. It's not up to him. Could have fooled me. You know that he's going to try to sue for custody for that kid, right? And he barely let you in the house yesterday. I can handle him. Really? Well, what about Clinton Vicky? Do you really want to start a fight with Clinton Vicky? He's got problems of his own. Oh, really? Enough to forget about the fact that you pretty much raped his daughter when she was helpless? If you think he's going to let you anywhere near his grandchild, think again. I don't want to interrupt you the jugular bliss, but Johnny wasn't answering the door. And man, I'm telling you, this is big. What is? I've been buggered. I mean, I've been burgled. Somebody came into the store and just wiped me out. Can you go to the police station and file a report, please? I have to find Jessica. How could you lose your quiet? It's only been one day already, man. Roxy, we're not married. What? There was no wedding. It's all in the papers. Now, please, I have to go. Well, what about John and Natty? They didn't get married either. Oh, man, am I that far out of the loop? What the hell happened? It all came out at the wedding. James told me. I can't believe Ford didn't tell me. He's a father with Jessica. <sighs> Must have freaked him out. So he went with some other girl, someone the complete opposite of me? Why? I don't know. No, I do. She was blonde, hotter than hot, and all over him. Wait, tell me more about this blonde. You can't call Jessica's family. How many times do I have to tell you? They need to know that you're here. Why? So they can bring their precious Jessica back? No, thank you. I am not letting you take over Jessica's life. Well, that's really obvious, because you were all over the hotel computer last night typing in DID when you thought I was asleep. Next time, smart guy, erase the browser history. I, I want to go back to Landview. I should have never let you talk me into coming to Vegas. Your parents have got to be worried sick about you. Right. My parents. Okay, fine. Go ahead. Tell Clinton Vicky. But you know what's going to happen then, right? Whatever's best for you. Yeah, no. They'll, um, they'll lock me up. And then what's going to happen to poor baby Ryder then? I'm his father. I have rights. You sure? Because, uh, I don't think that Brody Lovett really cares about your rights. I don't care. It's not up to him. Could have fooled me. You know that he's going to try to sue for custody for that kid, right? And he barely let you in the house yesterday. I can handle him. Really? Well, what about Clinton Vicky? Do you really want to start a fight with Clinton Vicky? He's got problems of his own. Oh, really? Enough to forget about the fact that you pretty much raped his daughter when she was helpless? If you think he's going to let you anywhere near his grandchild, think again. It was when Jessica had broken up with me before she got her memory back, and we didn't know if she ever would. She hated me. John hadn't shown up for Natalie. We were both alone and miserable. Oh, man, I remember that night. Johnny didn't come to Rhodey's. It was after the letter. Natalie was leaving for London. We didn't think we'd ever see each other again. Yeah, I was right there at Rhodey's while she was tying one on. Why did I ever leave? I should have stayed. None of this ever would have happened. Roxy, I'm sorry. I can't do this now. I, I need to find Jessica. Yeah, look, I understand that, but should I go to the station? Do you think the cops can figure out what this is? I only saw the tramp from behind. Why? It's important. Tell me everything that you remember. Is there a reason for this? Yes, a good one. Come on. Fine. Like I said, she was blonde with an awesome body, killer curves, long legs, and she was wearing this weird white mini dress. It was all deconstructed. Where did you get this? Perps left these all over the floor. You think they could get their fabric sniffing dogs and figure out who the creeps are? You hand me over to the Buchanan's now, you'll lose your son. 
Do you really want to start a custody battle with Clint Buchanan? I don't know. Not like he doesn't have a lot of skeletons in his closet. You're right. And every one of them comes with a team of lawyers and a personal bodyguard. Yeah, I know. I met the muscle, Mr. Black and Mr. Blue. <laughs> really? Good. Then you know he hates you as much as I do. But uh, you go on. You, you tell the judge what a great dad you're going to be. And then Clint's team of lawyers are going to say how you slept with Jessica when she thought she was in high school. You're going to look like a pedophile. And then he's going to trot in every woman that you've ever used and thrown away. By the time he's done, you're never going to see your son again. Hell, you probably won't be allowed near schools, too. And poor little Ryder will be all alone with no mommy and no daddy. Brody would take care of him. Brody's going to protect him from you, of course. But as soon as that's taken care of, the only kid he's going to care about is his real son. He's going to spend all of his time with Liam. But hey, you know, maybe Clint will raise your little buckaroo. I won't leave another kid to be raised by some creep. I'm not going to abandon my son. Good. Then shut up about trying to do the right thing and do right by your son. Stick with your baby mama. OK. Finally. I just need to call Langston. Is there anything else you remember? Who cares? She's some slut for it sleeping with. Why do we need details? Because I have an idea. And I could be totally wrong about this, okay? But think about it. Maybe the woman that Ford was with was Jessica.